Tell me about your worst first date. My worst first date? I don't really go on dates. Can't really tell you that. I haven't had one. I've only ever dated one girl, and the first date was amazing. My worst first date? Oh my gosh. I've never been on a date. That's crazy. There's one that I went on a date with my cousin, but I didn't know it was my cousin until like after I met her family. I found out that he was my cousin. Yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I found out that he was my cousin. And um that's about it. Like we went to we went on a double date to the drive-in movie theater. And then I found out like two weeks later, my grandma my um, grandmother was talking about it and she was like, we're related to some of them. And I was like, Psh, not him. And then my aunt texted me and she was like, yes, you are. You, you're related to him. So I had to tell him over the text. And then he freaked out. And I was like, ha, sorry. And then we haven't talked. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the fair and she threw up on me. This girl came over to my place. Um, and I was thinking, you know, we were just gonna chill, catch up, get to know each other. And she ended up just being a little crazy. She like, walked in my room, started like opening up my cupboards, like looking at like all my stuff. She suddenly started like, I don't know, she started like trying to fold all my stuff and put it away. And I'm like, no, it's there for a reason. And she's like, oh, it's driving me crazy. I'm like, all right, well, you're nuts. Does being stood up count as a first date? There was this restaurant in Mississippi, it's called Sicily's, and um, we scheduled a date to be around like two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it turns out that like, you know, as I'm sitting there waiting, uh, I don't hear anything, so I check on her, check on her multiple times, and it's like, oh yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there. Um, and then actually it's like, uh, it's about like six hours later, around like eight o'clock, it hits me that, oh, she's not coming to this. I found out that she had a boyfriend. Okay, so I met a guy here himself, and he wanted to take me out on a date, and it just so happened that Deadpool was showing for Valentine's Day at the movie theaters, so we were going, and all of a sudden, his girlfriend called that I did not know he had, and he wanted me to get on the phone and talk to her and say that I was just a friend, and then later, he took me home, and he was like, if you thought that I led you on anyway, then I'm sorry. It's kind of like I punched her with my lips. It was, uh kind of bad. I went to go meet him and he wasn't hot at all. I literally didn't talk the entire time because I was just that nervous and all. We got there, I guess she expected me to pay. I didn't pay. She had to pay for herself. He didn't have enough money to pay for the check so I had to scrounge around my dress for loose change or something. The guy, he picked me up in his friend's car and it was nasty. The car itself was nasty and then when he took us on the date he ordered and then we ate and whatever and thinking the person like invites you on a date you think they're gonna pay he got up and he left and i had to pay for the date there were these twins one was cute and one was not and i was actually attracted to the cute one and not cute one liked me so i ended up going on a date with the not cute one and <laughs> he ended up telling me that his cute twin brother had a girlfriend so i pretty much wasted my time he was like the stereotypical like fedora wearing guy, but I gave him a chance anyways. So what he does on the date is, instead of like talking about like normal stuff like your interests, he pulls out this like big collection of like notebooks where he created like this whole like Narnia, like, <laughs> like this whole like fantasy world. And like he went into like depth, that was the whole date. Like he just started talking about his book and like elves and like, fantasy creatures and stuff and like not a single question about like myself so like I just left early. I had a really bad first date when I was out skiing and then my date uh, and I or at least I, I was super hungry I was starving and then I said to my date I'm starving I'm super hungry and he said just drink a lot of water and it will go away that was when I was thinking, okay, I'm not attracted to you. I'm attracted to food, not you. My worst first date, he took me to McDonald's. <laughs> and I was really mad. And he was like, we was gonna go out to eat. I'm thinking we going somewhere, I put on my Sunday's best. You know, I was looking good. And we went to McDonald's. The first thing he says to me is that I have a pocket full of condoms. If you want to have anything like special going on afterwards. I was like, what? 
I'm this little 14 year old girl and I know anything about what's going on. And that's making everything worse. Like, he was just like very handsy doing the movie too. Like, I'm like so uncomfortable. I'm just like, yeah, this is definitely not going to a second date. One time, this girl I liked asked me to go get coffee with her, and so I was really excited for it. And then when I got there, we were sitting there and everything was going well. And then I started to see, like, I was on the cross country team, and I started to see, like, my teammates kind of just, like, one at a time walk through the coffee shop, and I was like, that's kind of coincidental. And then my entire team just walked in and crashed our date. <laughs> it's not cool. We went and played laser tag. And she thought, uh, oh, where, where's your brother? You know, where, where's everybody else? And uh, I thought I had made myself clear, you know, hey, this, you know, you want to go play laser tag with me? But she's, uh, <laughs> we get there and it's just us and she just gets really quiet. And so we play laser tag. And then I'm trying to make conversation and it's just dead silence. We're, we're just super awkward around each other on our own and then um, <laughs> then basically she just uh, looks at me and tells me yeah I already have a boyfriend I am uh, secretly dating this other guy because I'm not actually supposed to be dating anybody right now so I met somebody on tinder and I was gonna go to this date with him and you know we talked and she was quite a nice young lady and everything so we go to steak and shake and I'm thinking, okay, it's fairly economical and whatever else. And uh, so we get there and I'm sitting inside waiting for her to come in or whatever. And she walks in the door and I don't even, I didn't even know it was her. She came and sat down at the table. She's like, are you Aaron? I'm like, yeah, that's me, you know. And I'm like, this girl looks literally nothing like what she did in her Tinder photos. And I'm not judgmental or anything, you know, but like, you have to look something like what you look like in your Tinder photos. I was like, you don't really look like, uh, you know, you changed or whatever, I said. And she's like, oh yeah, those pictures are from a few years ago. I was like, oh, okay, well, okay. You know, she's still a nice person, you know, I have something here. And we start talking, and the stuff we had talked about on Tinder, she like, either didn't know about, so it made me think that maybe her friend was talking to me or something. And then the stuff that she did know about, she decided to change her mind on. And so we had nothing in common. And then like we start ordering food or whatever. And thankfully, cause I was like, okay, maybe this won't get worse. No, she orders like the most expensive stuff at Steak and Shake. I, that's like almost impossible to do, but she orders a whole bunch of stuff. And you know, we start talking and everything. And then like, it just goes dead silent, right? Because we don't, we don't like relate at any level. She looks different. Uh, I mean, obviously, the conversation's gonna die, right? And we get done. And she's like, "So, um, like, I don't really have that much, and this and that." I was like, "Nah, bruh, nah." So we get up to the counter. I'm like, "And uh, I'm paying for mine." She's like, "You're not gonna pay for it?" I was like, "No, I'm sorry, but um, we don't have anything in common. You look totally different. Like, no." And so, like, she freaks out in the restaurant, um, and I'm like, all right, well, I pay for my stuff, and I, like, start walking out, and she leaves the restaurant without paying. And so, I just get in my car, and she's still yelling, and I throw that thing in reverse and get the hell out of there. That was, like, the worst date ever. Like, literally ever. I've had some bad dates, but, like, that was pretty, pretty awful.